you know, the atmosphere was amazing. Just the place was round, you know, absolutely round. Total fire hazard, I'm sure, you know. Um, and uh, all that chanting, you know, do you know, do you know, do you know. And it felt great to be part of it, you know, like 14. You shouldn't want well, not even old enough to be in there, really. Um, and then he did, he literally came on swinging the towel, you know. And the place just went absolutely bananas. You know? I've never experienced anything like it. The small faces were actually playing on stage, they were performing. I mean, there must have been, I don't know, five or six thousand people there. Then Gino pulled in in the van. And the crowd actually stopped watching the band, small faces, turned on the van, dragged Gino out, put him on the shoulders, and actually marched him up to the stage with the small faces on and put him on. I remember walking the dog was what he used to do a lot of, and I mean the Stones did it, I mean everybody in the world has done walking the dog, but when he did it with a full brass up there, you don't know how to do it, it would really want go through you, you know, and it was great to just stand there in front of it, <laughs> sound junkies. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, the guy was so killed. Cool. He was so killed, cool, stood on the street outside the Reno Club there with his cop, a big split. Going back to 1983, you know, obviously a split. The cop was like, outrage, you can't do that here. He's like, I'm Gino Washington, man, I can do what I like, where I go. He's like, you have to go back in there. He's blowing all this weed on, blowing smoke everywhere. Yeah. We would be on a bill with, um, and, uh, with cream and possibly The Who, and, you know, everyone else who was sort of big at the time and all the rest of it, but the headliner was Gino. He was the king. He really was. King Mojo, King Gino. X Factor. Gino was X Factor. <laughs> And nobody was like Gino. Not now, not then, nobody.